Magnetic fields cause forces on charges. Just as electric fields cause forces on charges, the magnetic field exerts a force, which is a mass times an acceleration. And the original derivation of this force was an empirically derived derivation. In other words, careful observations by a series of scientists derive the following force law. The magnetic force on a charge object of charge little q is related to the charge and is also related to the velocity of that moving charge. The force on the charge is equal to the vector cross product V cross B multiplied by the charge of the object. And that represents the force on the object. Notice that because of the vector cross product, the magnetic force is always perpendicular to both V, the vector, the velocity, and B, the vector of magnetic field. In the drawing below, if magnetic field is pointing up toward you and out of this page, so the circles with little small dots represent like the tip of an arrow, and if the velocity of a moving charge was pointing to the right, then the vector cross product points in the direction of the red arrows shown. When the velocity is pointing straight to the right, the force is pointing straight down. A, a force straight, pointing straight down when the velocity is to the right is a sideways force and causes the trajectory of the moving charge to bend. The vector cross product is sometimes helpfully derived using the right hand rule. The right hand rule states that if you place your right hand first in the in a direction such that your fingers point in the direction of the first of the two vectors in the cross product. The first of the two vectors in this case is V. And then curl your hand, curl the fingers of your hand toward the second of the two vectors, in this case B. This will force your thumb to point in the direction of the resultant cross product. In the picture shown, the velocity points straight to the right and you should try to take your hand and point it, your right hand, and point it so the fingers point straight to the right. And then curl your fingers up and away out of the paper and you will notice that your thumb is forced to point straight down. This represents the direction of the, the resulting vector V cross B. If the charge of the, of the moving charge is positive, then V cross B points in the same direction as the magnetic force on the object. If, however, the charge is negative, like it's an electron, then that vector cross product, V cross B, needs to be multiplied by a negative number, and the force, instead of pointing straight down, points straight up. So the trajectory of a negatively charged particle in a magnetic field bends in the opposite direction as the trajectory for a positively charged particle. Because of the vector cross product, the magnetic force is always a side sideways force. It doesn't speed up or slow down the charged particle. It always makes it bend off to the side like a centripetal force. It turns out even many politicians know the right hand rule. Here, both President Obama and former Speaker Pelosi are demonstrating the curling of one's fingers and the, direc the direction of the resulting cross product and they're trying to teach it to their constituents.